Steven, come on. I need to blow my wind in another direction. <laughs> Steven, come on. No, you come on. I, I will, but... That's why I got this wet right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, man. You, you got you no, got. No, listen, I, the real reason I have this wet rag is because I got something in my eye. <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you gotta clean it up. Yeah, the crust. <laughs> it gets in all the corners. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we gotta watch it. You gotta. You no. have to. No. You have to. No. Yes. Listen, I would watch Boku no Pico <laughs> Returns: A New Hope <laughs> before I watch anything from the Game Theory people. No, you. Come on. You're gonna make me play. This. Yeah, <laughs> I already did the first one. Oh my god. Hey, I started this game over for you. I hope you... Well, you know, I, I should be okay. I, I saw... I saw Dashy get to the first boss. <laughs> so, you know, I've got it got it nailed down. So, uh, in this game, I'm a, uh, a hunchback turtle hermit. Yep. That dies in the... Uh, Apocalypse. Either in the snow or in the sand. I can't really... No, in game theory's... Uh comment section I hate you <laughs> I hate you so much don't you just love the storyline so far no I don't because <laughs> because I played the first Dark Souls I never beat it but I got pretty much to the end and the story didn't make any sense like I guess it's the type of story either that I missed a whole bunch of the story or you just have to like go look it up in a wiki or something to even find it and when it gets to that point I'm like you know who cares yeah that's how I feel about um what's that's how I felt about the backstory of Undertale and also like well, I mean, games like Five Nights at Freddy's which is something completely different because they're just like we're gonna make you think about it Right. Whereas Undertale, it's a little bit out there, but it's like the backstory. Well, you know, the thing, the thing with Finals of Freddy is, I mean, it's... Spoilers. It's, it's, it, the game itself is mostly for the jump scare effect, but they added all kinds of, like, hidden things that if you wanted to, you could go find them all and find their meaning and all that stuff. But it was, like, you know, not the main idea, you know? Yeah. Uh, and with Undertale, I'm about to say, the there's so about, many games that does it too. The thing about Undertale is, like, unless you've played through the the normal route, the, the true pacifist, and the, uh, the the one where you kill everyone, yeah, unless you've played all three of them, you don't know the whole story. Exactly. So you pretty much have to have a certain amount of it spoiled in order to give you enough drive to actually play them. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like... Where I... I don't, I don't know. I, I never really got that urge when I... Because what I ended up doing... Because in one of our classes, my college classes, we have to make our own website. And I decided to do one on Undertale. So, I decided, like, if I'm... Because I only did, like, the true pacifist route, right? So, I had to figure out what the other routes were, and then I had to go deeper into that, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like, because, and then I'm just like, I'm not going to end up playing, I'm not going to play through it again. I mean, I'll just feel just as good about it, because I don't want to go against Sam. Right, Cause right. Because I saw that battle, and I, heck no. Right, it, to me, I played through Undertale the one time, and then to see the other endings, I just, you know, look up a walkthrough or something, you know, watch watch uh, the Game Grumps play it or something like that, you know. Exactly. Instead of just playing it again. <laughs> My name is dot com. <laughs> by the way, let, let me tell you something. Um, when I was making my character on Twitch, um, there's this guy uh, named Illuminous Panda who came in, and he he's been in my stream multiple times, and he's part of the great the community um, Arcade Alliance. So we we know each other pretty well, but he came into the chat. I was like, I got the perfect name. I just put in pandasmells dot com. I was like, you get. <laughs> I think this is appropriate. 
I don't know what you're talking about. Because of the amount of times I'm going to die and then come back to life just to die and come back to life. Yeah. Or Groundhog Day. Okay. Who played the Who played uh, the main character in Groundhog Day? The movie. The uh, Bill Murray. Yeah. There you go, Bill Murray. <laughs> in the Groundhog Day. A uh, Groundhog Day. Dot no, com. no, <laughs> no. Bill Murray at. <laughs> 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 No, nah, there's gonna be. I'm, I'm gonna get all the uh, all the code the code names. I'm gonna get wrong. I'm gonna be mature. Like it looks just this one punches a little bit. Okay, I went with mercenary. Now, um, uh, uh, I, I'm gonna be a tool noob. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> did they fix this one? Like, in the first Dark Souls, you pick the Sorcerer, it would put it on quote-unquote easy mode. Really? So, yeah, because you just, you get like a, a ranged missile attack, and it, you just cheese all the mobs, right? Oh, it, really? Yeah, it was, like, if you play the Sorcerer class in the first Dark Souls, people are like, people just treat you like you didn't, you're you not actually playing Dark Souls. I'm about to say, uh, I've only played like the melee ones, like Knight and Mercenary uh, but I never seen anyone play Sorcerer. I don't even know what that's like. Actually, no, that's a that's a big lie. I seen um, my friend Andy uh, stream it, and he was playing cleric. Okay, I know what you're talking about now. Um, I think I'll pick Pyro. All right. Uh, Shark bait will pop up. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> now, and again, Dark Souls is. Like we were talking about, one of those games, like, you, you're far better off looking up a bunch of stuff before you sit down and play it, because there was, like, one of these gifts that you start with, only one of them was good, and the rest were just total trash. Yeah. And I have no idea if it's like that now, and even if I, even if it is like that, like, which one is it? Um, raises maximum health, okay, the new one. Uh. I bet you that's a one-time use thing. <laughs> yeah. The new League of Legends Masteries be like. <laughs> yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the firebombs let you cheese that first boss for a weapon. Uh, I could start with a soul. What does the uh, what does the 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 soul thing do? Like the souls, like that's like your experience points or whatever to level up. Yeah. Like when you kill something, you get like a certain number of souls or whatever. Mm -hmm. But then you also find items that are souls and you use them just to give yourself souls. A, yeah, a boost of experience. Oh, kind okay. Of thing. I actually didn't know that. As much I'm just, as I play I'm just Dark gonna, Souls, I'm just I'm gonna just take playing. the noob one because I don't know what the other ones do. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> hey guys, I'm here to play Dark Souls Three. I got the Night One Edition. Okay. <laughs> what? The yeah, yeah, what's the... up? <laughs> what? The Oh, Great Swamp Outcast. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. I want to KKK. Yeah, yeah, I feel. Yeah, I feel. Like <laughs> this guy's okay. Okay, to the next <laughs> level. What? <laughs> but his hair's black. So. The features of the old gods. Okay, the tentacly kind, or they say the children born like. Common. <laughs> Uh, it's like, do I want to be ugly as sin or ugly as not sin? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's like a cross between <laughs> or, ug <laughs> or uglier than the one who created sin. <laughs> I'd probably take way too much time on stuff like this. <laughs> like, if, if it was something like to the level of Skyrim, I would probably... Or, or Fallout, you know, where you, you tweak every individual, like this you eyebrow... Like more. Yeah. Okay. Whoa, okay. 
Uh, yeah, extreme burliness. Very burly. <laughs> like all the burl, small head. <laughs> Carlton. <laughs> what is no, it's not got, unusual got... to be loved by anyone. Yeah, sure. Whoa, this guy looks, looks like he can beat down some stuff. Finalize the creation. <laughs> Are we sure? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's not unusual to be loved by anyone. Do you want to sit in this chair? Yeah, that looks <laughs> Uh, now that I'm in the hot seat, which is now literally hot. Uh, uh, you want some water? Uh, <laughs> have we swapped rolls entirely? <laughs> yeah, just the cup. Oh, the cup. Yeah. Well, take your dag on the cup. Yeah. Alright, grab it. I just want to come back and see you died or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Once on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> and I look behind me, and this is about a mile down, right? And I just look behind me, I'm like, I forgot the Xbox. <laughs> well, Steven. that's the drink button. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you this right now, though. Some of these guys are just ruthless. I'm telling you. Listen. Like, straight up. You know, you may not be aware of this, but I am a Dark Souls master. <laughs> like, check this out. <laughs> oh my god. Please. <laughs> he doesn't even care. He's just like, take me. Make it happen. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> the most stationary enemy. <laughs> okay. I, this one. Okay. I am a okay. lumberjack and I'm not okay. I am a lumberjack. <laughs> okay. What is. Um, excuse you? <laughs> um, excuse you? I choked up the lot. 